Hey guys, this is Joseph, my digital marketing journey. This is going to be a fun video today because what we're going to talk about is one of my favorite free tools that I use to help me build backlinks for clients. Backlinking, which is when you essentially find a website that already has authority in your niche and you get it to link back to your website. Google likes that. When we're like, hey, I already like this site. This already has authority and I trust it. And they're linking back to this site. Well, then this site must be good too. It's kind of like passing on the authority. That's what the backlinking thing is. But if you've tried to do backlinking, it's usually very exhausting. It can take a ton of time. It can take a ton of resources. So I'm going to show you one of the free tools that I use that makes my life so much easier. All right. So if you want to do incredible SEO for your clients and for yourself, you're going to want to hang out for this. Let's get into it. All right. So here I'm hopping into the computer and this is my gratuitous plug. This is a website that I created. Um, actually, there's nothing on here that you can pay for, but easysmma.com. You, if you don't have an agency website already, check this out. And I just did a little bit of an update, so it looks a little bit nicer. But this essentially shows you how to create your own custom WordPress website in you know an hour or so. And there's nothing you have to pay for here, but you will have to buy hosting and a domain and stuff like that. So anyway, this is good and. Um, what I wanted to show this to you partially for is for one, because I created a podcast recently, also called My Digital Marketing Journey. And on it, I just did an episode with the same name as this. And a lot of the times when I talk about something on the YouTube channel, I've already done it on the podcast. And in fact, I'm creating a lot more content on podcast than on YouTube right now. So you could go and you could check this out as well if you just want to listen to it. I just uploaded this. And some of the tools I'm going to talk about are on the essential tools as well here. All right. But anyway, so what I was going to talk about is if we're trying to rank a site and we're trying to do backlinks, what do we do? So the example that I took is doing dentist in Peoria, Illinois, because this is a pretty good basic example of a type of local service business that you might be doing SEO for. And so if we're scrolling down, like let's say that our client was something like Peoria, Peoria Family Dental. And we've done everything we can do with our on-page SEO optimizations. And now we're trying to look at what backlinks can we build. And so if I look at this, I'm like, oh, I'm not ranking high enough. Well, what am I comparing myself to? The, the companies, the websites that are ranking higher. So if I scroll up, I'm going to kind of look for what are the better websites here. And then I'm going to try to steal whatever they're doing. And um, one of the things I want to steal right now, specifically in this video, is what kind of backlinks are they building? And normally, if you want to do this backlink research, what you have to do is you have to like pay these like expensive subscription costs for things like Ahrefs or Majestic, where they'll show you the backlinks, but you're actually paying you're paying a lot of money a month to use these tools. I'm going to show you something that's free. Um, so this is obviously our biggest competitor here. So we got Yelp. We're not going to compete with Yelp too much. Um, but denti this PeoriaDentist.com, they're doing pretty darn well. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to copy that link address. And I'm going to take a look at their website. I'm not going to spend too much time on this piece because this I'll cover in other videos. And I have in other videos too, where this is the on-page SEO. Like I would look at this and see what they're doing on their actual page that's helping them rank as high as they're ranking. And this is a pretty, this is yeah, pretty good. I mean, the website looks old school, but as far as the content on it, this is really good content for ranking a website. So it uh, looks like if they had someone who knew what they were doing, do this. It could be better actually, but this is not bad, especially for a dentist, because uh, dentists aren't really known for their SEO chops. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to go and use a website called The Hoth. And you can either go and do, you can go just to thehoth.com, or if you go to my website, there's a link there, or you could go to easysmma.com backslash thehoth, and that'll take you there too. So, um, you know, whatever you want to do, you could go direct, or you could go through um, my site. So, All right, so anyway, here we are. We're on thehoth.com, and it doesn't look like there's much here, you know, because you have to actually get a free account with them to use their stuff. 
You can't look under the hood unless you get this account. It doesn't cost you anything. All you do is you put in your email, you say get started, and then they create this account for you. Now, once you have your account and you log in, then you're gonna see where all the cool tools are. So I'm gonna log in and then I'll show you what's on the back end. All right, so when you're here, they'll tell you what their deals are because they have paid services. And I'll say place orders, and there's all these things they can do. They can do your business listings and press releases and guest posts. And some of this stuff is really good. Like you can actually have them do your SEO and white label it for you. And they're fairly trusted. I mean, they're a pretty trusted one. I think there's like 200,000 plus people who are using their packages. So that's not a bad thing to have at your disposal. But what we're going to talk about today is just the free tools that they have. So if we go over to this Tools tab and we click on it, we're going to see all of this stuff. They even have a logo maker, SEO audits, blog topic generator. I think that thing is really cool. That gives you these really like catchy blog topic titles. Um, and that's nice. They have all this keyword research stuff. So anyway, I'm not going to get into all of that. What I want to talk about is just this thing, the backlink checker. And so if we do that, this is essentially giving you access to the Ahrefs backlink checker just for free, totally for free. Ahrefs is pretty expensive to have a monthly subscription with. And so here you just get it for free, which is kind of awesome. So I'm going to take that same URL that I had, Peoria Dentist, and I'm going to put it in there and run the search. And you can run multiple searches a day. Uh, and what it's going to do is it's going to generate a backlink report. It's going to tell me, well, this has uh, 1,661 total backlinks, 39 referring domains, 97% are do follow links. And, and in case you don't know, you want do follow links. Those are ones that actually pass juice onto your website. If you have no follow links, it's like, I don't know. I, they don't really help you out. They don't really help you out. So it organizes everything. It shows me what all the backlinks are what the anchor text for them are, if it's do follow or no follow, and what the domain rank is. And domain rank goes from zero to 100. Uh, anything over 20 is something that I want to link from, but if it's up here and it's like 93, 90, 88, these are super high authority sites. If you can get a single link from a site like that, it can completely change your rankings. I had one client where I got them one link from a relevant niche site but it had a domain rank of about 90. And that one link took them from, I think, number six or eight to number one in a week. It was, that's all I had to do. I could have just done that and had done my job for them. So anyway, uh, what we can do here is we can start to look at these and see what are the actual links. And then we're gonna try to take those links. So I'll click on this. I'm not gonna go through all of them, obviously. But if I click on this link right here, Give it a second to pull up. Okay, well, it looks like this is probably the company that designed their website. If we scroll down, we'll see, okay, this is their website, and there's a link back to it. And so right there, that's a backlink, but we're probably not gonna get that one because we would have had to have this company build our website. So that's not gonna be a great example. Uh, this next one, though, if you look at this, this is a domain rank of 40, which is pretty good. It's actually pretty pretty darn good. And this is super local. See, this is Peoria Riverman Hockey. So that's going to be a local hockey organization. Uh, and that proximity thing, if you're doing local SEO, if you can get links from local organizations like municipalities and churches and police departments, things like that, that's awesome. And so it looks like they can get a link from this local hockey organization. And this is a corporate sponsor's which is awesome. If we're looking at this, it looks like if you just sponsor them, they'll give you a do follow backlink. And then that's awesome. You don't even have to write an article. Most times when you do backlinks, you do it by placing articles on other sites and getting them to embed a link somewhere in there. But here it looks like we're just throwing up your logo. So this is awesome. I would want this link. What I'd probably do is I'd reach out to them, see how much does it cost to get a link, if we have a bunch of like churches and you know small insurance places doing stuff, you know, then it probably isn't crazy expensive. And I would just ask them, is this a permanent link or is this just good for the season? And kind of figure that out and then get it up here because people love this kind of stuff. 
This gives you community awareness. It shows that you participate locally. It's a great link. It's a local link. So, I mean, if uh, Fritch Heating and Cooling can have a link from them, I want that link from them. So anyway, I would just reach out and see how I could get this. And this is a, probably a really easy link to get. And say that they charge you 80 bucks or say it's like a $100 sponsorship. Awesome. That's fine. Charge your client, you know, 150 bucks for the time that you spent getting it. You know, you make the money back. It's pretty easy. All right. So anyway, that's an example of a backlink that I just found. And I, what I want you to recognize now, just take a second and think about this. For you to find that organization to know that they were of a high enough domain rank that they're actually worth linking to, and just like to do all of that legwork, that would have taken you a long time. But here, I just plugged in a website, you know, into this backlink checker, and then I clicked on the second link, and I already have a pretty easy 40DR do, do follow link that I can have going right back to my page. Um, this next one, um, that's probably not gonna be the best. Uh, I looked at it before, I actually know it's not the best. But I did see this one. I thought this was pretty cool. Owler is actually a new thing for me, but it's a great backlink. And I'll probably do a video just on that one. Because you can see it's 73 domain rank. So I'll talk about that. But I go to this AP Sense. And this is kind of like your classic backlink. Um, this isn't the best because this looks like it's a very general site. It's not specific to the dental niche or even to healthcare because we can see if there's other stuff going on here. But this is an article they had written. It looks like it was probably written by a marketing company. This guy probably used to do their marketing. Um, it's an old school looking site, but if we look at the domain rank, what was it again? It was right here. It's a 77 domain rank, that's awesome. And so I'm looking here and it's like, okay, this is an article all about dental stuff in Peoria. Then the anchor text is dentist in Peoria, dentist in Peoria. And if you look at the bottom left of my screen, you'll see that where this is linking to is their website. So this is a great backlink. So I would try to get one on here. I mean, this is kind of old, you know, but it looks like it's still relevant because it still has that high domain rank. Um, so what I would do is I'd probably go to how it works or maybe contact us. And I would just see what does it take to get an article on this site? and then I would just reach out. Now, sometimes what I had happen earlier today when I was doing this for one of the companies I work with is I, they just had a link from another person in the same niche, but it's like, so this was a chiropractor in Illinois as a client, but then there was you know this healthcare provider down in like Georgia where I found that they allow you to do backlinks. So it's super niche specific. It's not local, but that's okay because we don't want to get links from our competitors, right? That'd be weird. Um, but they take content. And so I just called them up and I was like, hey, what do I got to do to get an article placed? And they said, well, call Dr. So-and-so. And they gave me his email address and I just reached out and I was like, hey, doctor, uh, me and my team, we create a lot of great content. It looks like it's very relevant to your website. And I'd love to just give you a piece of content here. And then all we'd want is a link back. What do you think? And that's my outreach. It's very simple. Like I don't use a lot of words. Um, I'm just trying to be simple and just honest and transparent. Uh, like, hey, I'll give you something really good. And then if you want to link back to me, I'd appreciate it. Okay, so this would be an example of a link you could get. And then what I would do is I just keep going down through here and I'd keep clicking on each of these and seeing, do I want this link? Like this one, for instance, this is some weird spammy link from a Volkswagen enthusiast website. I don't want this link. This link looks like total spam. And so what they probably did is they just found some kind of forum, you know, forums, and they found some kind of forum that allowed them to create a user profile and link back to their site. And this is spammy stuff. I don't like this. And I think that eventually this will start getting you smacked with penalties. So anyway, I wouldn't take one like this, but look for the relevant stuff and try to steal it and then do it with all the companies that are ranking above you. You can even do it with the companies that are ranking below you. Now, the other thing that I'm learning here is that I have to get some pretty darn good links to have better links than these guys. Cause look at all this stuff. You know, they have like a lot of really high quality do follow links. So I got to outdo them. And that's probably going to take some work because not only would I need to get what they have, but I'd have to get more, right? 
or I'd have to get what they have and then make my on-page SEO better, you know, stuff like that. So anyway, it's not like the whole game, but you can see how this is letting me bring us up to where they're at, and this free tool is making it so much easier. Let's talk about one more quick thing, which is how do I get my content created? I'm not gonna go super deep into this, but I like to get content created through iWriter. And so I go here, and uh, it's iWriter.com. There's a bunch of content creation sites, but I've had really good luck with this one. And so I could go here, I create an account, I put some money in my account, you know, 50 bucks or whatever, and then I can just order custom content. You can order stuff here um, for, they say it's like for as little as a couple bucks, like as low as $1.40. But my experience is that if I get content that's that cheap, Usually I have to spend so much time editing it because it's crap. And then that ends up making like not worth my while. I would rather give someone, you know, 20 bucks, 30 bucks to write a really good article. And then I'll do only a little bit of editing instead of having to spend an hour there trying to make it actually into a good article. Uh, because when you try to do this, like say that I'm trying to get an article on the site, they are not going to let me just put any crap up here. I have to give them a good article that's going to make their website better right and so i'm going to go here i'm going to pay someone you know at least twenty dollars to create something good they have different levels they have like premium elite elite plus and there's like some higher one after that but i'll usually do elite plus and i'll say the minimum you could offer for an article is fourteen dollars and i'll say great i'm going to offer 22 and then i get better writers actually trying to jump on that opportunity so anyway i'm not going to go into how to use iWriter today but i'll get that article back I'll edit it a little bit. I'll put a couple good pictures in there. And then that's what I'm going to send off to actually be my article. And inside that article, I need to make sure that I actually have a backlink where I use some anchor text that's relevant. You know, so it could be my company name. It could be the key term I'm searching for. And just figure out a way to work that into the article. And then just link it back to the site and make sure it's a do follow link. So I hope you got a lot of value out of this. This, I got to tell you, this if someone would have told me this when I first started, they would have saved me dozens and dozens of hours of my time. They would have helped me out so much. So if you do this kind of thing, you're building backlinks. It's going to be so much easier. A pro tip for you, here's your bonus tip, is eventually you'll build relationships with a lot of webmasters. I'll talk about this more in another video. But you'll have relationships with a bunch of webmasters where you don't have to do all this searching. Eventually, after you've done this for a while, you'll do some of this. But then you'll also just have people where you can say, hey, can you just throw up this, this article for me? And they'll have sometimes like a list of many websites that are relevant. And then they'll just put it up and they'll probably make you pay, you know, 25, 50 bucks, 60 bucks, whatever, to put up your link. But it's like, who cares? You spent $20 on iWriter. You spent $50 with them. So you're up to 70 bucks. Spend a little bit of your time. And then you could charge your client, you know, a couple hundred bucks for that link. And you come out way ahead. Um, and plus we're happy because you're helping them rank. So uh, that's all that I'm going to talk about now. Let's wrap it up. Um, if you have any questions, put them in the comments below. If you have another backlinking trick or tool that you use, put it in the comments. And if there's something else you want to see, let me know. I want to provide a ton of value for you and make your life so much easier because that's what this is all about. We're all on our digital marketing journeys and we might as well help each other out. So if you got value, please thumbs up the video, like it, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And next time I have some content coming out, you can know about it right away. All right. Thanks, guys. That's it for this one. I'll see you on the next video.